Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. And we are going to catch up on the progress of the Hereford save here. We are now in our second season, the half of the second season. As you can see, I'm just finishing up a match for the FA Trophy, this one is, actually, for the fifth round of the FA Trophy. And uh, round this up and then I'm going to take you through the... Uh, changes for the winter season and actually there's only one change yeah there's only one change we only got one new striker and everything else is exactly the same so I'm gonna take you through that now and also take you through the progress to the next match now the save is going quite well we find ourselves not too far away from the playoffs um, we had a a run of bad uh, games recently. Um, just, you know, a few losses quite recently. So we're going to play Yeovil next in a few days. Uh, Yeovil are currently 12th, so they're kind of um, roughly the same level as us. Chat to Mohammed about resting. He doesn't want any. Okay. And. Um, I think last year we arrived as well at the fifth round. Quarterfinal will be the next stage for this. Um, so it looks like we might be having some sort of hope of reaching the final, maybe? I don't know. Okay, our striker is committed by signing a new contract. Uh, before I get much further, let me just introduce you to the new striker. So we had a striker... If I go to transfer history... Uh, this guy, we only played him for one match. He didn't really do that well for us in that match. So I didn't play him again. And his... I think his contract was only for half of the season anyway. Um, and because I didn't play him, uh, he left. And we got a replacement. Patrick Casey, 18 year old. Not a regen, uh, just very young, from Charlton. And he's been playing a little bit more for us, so that's good. Three goals so far. Um, got two, two strikers with the same number of goals for us, our two strikers there. So yeah, so no changes to the team, still the same setup as before. We lost in the second round against Accrington, uh, that's the same stage as last year so we didn't make an improvement there but we were only expected to reach the first round anyway and quarter final of the FA Trophy is um, much further is it much further? I think it's just one round further than last time I think we reached the first round last time round um, I don't know what kind of teams are left go to stages hmm, there's still a mixture of teams from the national like the, the original as well let's draw all teams so we're going to play against Chesterfield or Gateshead both of them are hard both of them are really hard so we're probably going to stick to the quarterfinal and that will be it I can't see us going any further in this competition Kenny wanted to leave because I criticised his training performance. That's all right. It's okay. We're probably going to replace him next season anyway. If we go up, it looks like we could have a shot at the playoffs. Um, let's offer this guy a new contract. See what he says. He's not interested. Okay. That might change at the end of the season. It just depends whether or not we get promoted. 
it's going to be a tough fight for promotion, but I'm going to try it anyway. Now, all of our players are getting poached right, left and center by other clubs, so I'm just going to attempt to convince them to stay. I always offer... Um, I, I don't really make... Um, I reduce the offer that they want. I never accept what they suggest at first. So we're going to play against Chesterfield. That is going to be a tough match. They are top of the league at the moment, I think. Yeah. We are four points away from the playoffs. So that's not too bad. I think it's still achievable. We were eighth. and I think we were seventh at one point. I can't remember. Seventh, yeah, for just one week. I have had um, lots of um, interest from other clubs to poach me as well. I've obviously refused because this is a fully Hereford save. Um, I might do a save like that in future though. I don't know, like um, like a traveling save where I kind of just accept offers and go traveling, try and like get an offer to go up the league up to a different league or to a different country. Mm. Excuse me, I'm having like a bit of a um, episode of yawns, just yawning lots and lots. Right, so expectations defeat. Um, okay. All right, all right, all right. Also, just to take you through the club vision. Uh, we are doing well with the board. Not so well with the defending side of things. The supporters are pretty happy with us, generally, um, as well. We haven't really played our rivals, so so that's okay. If you go to the board, they have accepted a few things. They're going to buy the stadium for us. And they're going to increase the youth level. I think that's it in the past year. Uh, let's try and get some more things. Junior coaching, maybe. Can we get a different affiliate? Affiliate, maybe. And I definitely need to, need to ask for better wages for staff because. Come the end of the season, we're going to need new staff, probably. Okay, they're suggesting you go up to positive. I don't know if that's going to work out, but we'll try. I need to keep an eye here on um, on the things like promises and stuff. So, I'm going to bring the best players on the pitch, but without compromising promises. Anyway, and da, da, da. and then we've got our strikers. I'm gonna leave it like that. so. We're gonna leave everything as it is. I think no changes there to be made. All right, let's go. So we are playing Yeovil away from home. Financially, we're doing okay. We've been making money up every month. So in the po positive every month. I'm not sure how, what the situation will be once we buy the stadium. I'm not entirely sure what the benefit of buying the stadium really is, to be honest. But I suppose now with a new um, 
the new mechanic for um, different types of fans. Maybe that will change. Uh, having our own stadium will change that. We'll like we'll see what that what happens with that mechanic once we have our own stadium. And they're also going to increase our youth level from 0 to 4. Uh, I think it just means they can go up one league. That's a good pass. Not sure if you can score it. No. Talking about the league, the youth league, let me see if I can jump in real quick into the under 18s. They are currently 8th, so they're not doing brilliantly. There's not a, it's not a very good intake. The intake for this year, mm, excellent intake. Well, that still remains to be seen, to be honest. Last year's intake was very underwhelming, uh, very poor actually. Hmm. You're willing to counter attack here, and it's going well for them. Ah, oh, nice one, saved by the post. Um, the main objective here was always to stay um, in this division, so we're gonna we're on target to do that. I can't imagine us um, struggling to stay in this division now. Uh, it's like more than half of the season's gone, and we're still near the top, so so that's fine. So we are gonna stay um, in this division, but whether or not we're gonna have a chance at battling in the playoffs, that's a different story. We're obviously going to try our best. Free kick, is that a red card? Yeah. Okay, we're playing against nine. Ten. Ten players. Nine plus the goalkeeper, I suppose. I'm not sure what the formation is. Yeah, they're playing with a lot of defenders, I think. Not much in attack, so we should be okay as far as attack goes. But then they're not willing to make life easy for us in, in our attack. Don't give away a penalty. believe they've got like th that's it they've only got three players in attack I think and they uh, still managed to score they've so got two players in attack we've got this whole mountain of people in defense right so let's see where we can go with this I'm sure we can still score I'm gonna bring in some subs in a minute as well I'm gonna start start that now so Dylan. They just got a mountain of people up there. Nice pass. And you can score this, I'm sure you can. There we go, it's in. So I'm going to cancel that and uh, we'll see where this goes. Alright, I'm still going to do the same. So uh, I'm going to get Kenny on on that right side and then 
and then I'm gonna bring in a fresh center back and switch them around okay that's it Uh, the reason I switched them around is because Cameron likes to play on the right. Uh, the roles are slightly different as well. One of them is a non nonsense centre back. The other one is a uh, regular centre back. Taking a long time to do that corner. Come on. Quite possibly the last highlight. <laughs> that must be an offside. No? Yeah, sure. Okay, good. Come on, guys. get the ball up there but on the floor we're not great with like bouncing the ball up in the air I haven't got great vision for that I don't think oh uh, nice nicely saved somehow we retained that even though it was a bit of luck doing the good cross now Alright, it's a draw. It's a draw against Yeovil. It's a shame, we could have probably have won that quite easily. But it's going to be a draw. I will play on until the end of the season. And I will uh, catch you guys up then. Um, yeah, then just as always, thank you so much for watching until the end. Um, also, check out the Patreon. You can now get your name on a regen. So if you check out the Patreon options, there's like two or three options there. Um, Go and check it out, uh, link in the description, and uh, all of those things. I'll uh, catch you up in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.